Hi everyone, welcome to week six of your introduction to HIPAA course. Um, this week we are going to be finishing up chapter three. So picking up where we left off last, or uh, two weeks ago actually, um, with the um, second half of chapter three. So you're gonna begin on page 65, which actually kind of starts on page 64, where we start talking about ASCX12 nomenclature. So basically what that means is we're going to be looking at um, everything that uh, runs how transactions go through the system. So um, everything has to be done with a specific format in order for it to work smoothly. So everything has to be standardized. That's the key here. So as you're going through the material, um, it's going to talk to you about the different templates, um, and those templates are going to be based on the different type of transaction. Um, so they're going to talk a little bit about that. So these are some of the different transaction titles. Um, this is just the code that is the, the code rule um, for each particular type of transaction. So whether or not it's, you know, dental or health or whatever. Um, and as you go through and you're reading through this material, just understand that especially those first couple of pages where they talk about the, the different um, transaction loops and the data strings and all of that, that, you know, it's kind of, you don't have to write this stuff. You know, you're not going to be actually typing these types of things in, but this is what's running in the background to allow these things to happen. So that's kind of what they want you to understand is that everything has to be done the same way by everyone who is involved in the process. So no matter who you are or where you work, everything is going to be done the same way in the background. Okay. Um, then this particular slide just goes on and talks about, well, what happens if you've got more than one coverage? Because, you know, a lot of people may have a primary and a secondary coverage. Maybe, you know, the husband and the wife both have coverage. And so what happens? How do we ha keep from having to redo the, all of this over and over again for every type of coverage that a, a, a individual might have? And so that's what this is about, is that it's an automatic, um, that all of those things allow for, you know, that coordination of benefits, that all of these data strings in the background are, are, are basically set up to do all of this for us so that it's not something that we have to manually do. Now, of course, regardless of, um, you know, how much they can set up in the background and, and the the different types of, uh, of templates that are set up, there is some sort of limitation. Um, they have to process them, and by they, I mean the, uh, the electronics process has to be processed as it's received. So we can't, you know, you, it can't change it. Go, oh, I think they meant that. You can't do that. It, that they have to process it the way it was presented. So that's why sometimes things will get rejected and have to go back again. Um, also keep in mind that if there is some sort of documentation that's required to show that something was medically necessary, that that still has to happen. So you, you don't, replace that documentation when you're doing this. Um, and also that sometimes claims are limited by their size. So you might have to break up a claim into multiple pieces in order for it to be processed properly. Um, when we talk about trading partners, it's just like what we talked about before is anybody who is part of the process is considered a trading partner. And so we have to make sure that they are also um, make, following the, um, the, the same guidelines as far as HIPAA goes. Um, and then, of course, there's also information about what do you do with any type of noncompliance issues and how do we enforce these? So, you know, what's the process for um, if there is a problem? How do we, you know, investigate those privacy complaints and things like that? Who does the, the actual investigation? Where do the charges come from? All of that kind of stuff. So as you finish up this chapter, if you have any problems or questions, please make sure that you reach out to me um, and have a great week.